So thank you so much, Gailey. So you've just had your um, third and final hypnotherapy session with me. I'm off camera because it is all about you and it's not about me. Okay. <laughs> and we're just, I'm just asking you some wrap-up questions so that you can really see where your journey started to where you are today. Okay. So what specifically do you feel that you've achieved during these hypnotherapy sessions? Um... I think the main thing is, is when I came to you and saying this, I was getting sort of really anxious and and completely overtaken by other people, other people's noise, other people being there, what have you, neighbours, the whole thing. And now it's a very different vision I have with that person. And what's nice is that I think because I'm now... You know, completely you know, I'm calm about it yeah you know I can see other people's lives for what they are and the neighbor she's picking that up as well so she's now being much more like oh hi you know so it's it's becoming the relationship you want it to be and what I knew it could be it was just the fact that it had just I don't think it necessarily got off on the wrong um foot it just had got off wrong mm. if that's the best way mm. I can describe it and so it became a phobia and it was mm. oh, going to become a phobia and I was like oh I don't want it to be there and it's that very thing whereas now I'm yes I notice if she's there or not there but it's much more like oh she's not there rather than oh great she's not there you know I can, mm. be, I can be calm now it's oh it's an observation as opposed to something that defines how the day will go or defines how the evening will go and a real sort of uh, to me a real point was like at the weekend she had a few people round a bit of a party but again she was really you know she was in, it was obvious that she was incredibly mindful as to how noisy mm -hmm. it wasn't you know it was just a few people around you know it was what it was but it was really interesting because um everything she was doing it was almost like she was it was almost like she was telling me because I could hear it very occasionally because of the way the house is orientated. You could just hear her go, "Okay, fine, we're all going to go in now because it's going to yeah. get late." What have you? She was kind of giving you a commentary. But there was mm. a commentary, and it was simple things. And then uh, I was in bed because I was so tired, and something must have woke me up. Um, I heard, you know, um, people leaving the house. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them do, and none, none of them have been noisy. It was just what it was. And the next thing you know, I woke up and went, oh, right, fine, lights were off. And you could just hear, just, just hear. She just popped in, the doors were open because it was hot. It was mm. But they were just sort of chatting and it was really like, yeah, that's really nice. But there was no, oh, oh, when are they going to finish? It was, it was mm. really like, oh, that's pleasant, that's nice. And it was just really nice to have that. But it was almost like she was telling me or maybe I was waking up to see what had happened. It was a really funny moment Ooh. where I just thought, oh, maybe how... The commentary she's giving me, is that for me? Is that something that she's doing? And then secondly, when it was all really quiet, it was like I'd been woken up to see. Mm. Yeah, your, 11 in, your, in, yeah, your intuition giving you a nudge yeah. to recognise what was different. And also, it's 11 o'clock, and look how quiet, look how mindful yeah. she's being. Mm. And so, but it was really Do you think this really is all about her, or do you think it's the way that you're observing things differently? I mean... I'm, without a doubt, it's me observing it differently. Yes, I am observing mm. it differently. But I don't know whether she's taking a bounce from me now. Mm. And she's going, oh, I really want to show, yes, I am doing it. And it, it's, I don't know, I think it's because I'm being more like positive, she's yeah. being positive. So I think it's a bounce, it's a positive bounce. But it bounce. starts with you. Yeah. Yeah. Because what was the road you were going down prior to you coming to see me oh i was just going completely <laughs> I, I was i was creating a phobia with my own home mm. it was strangely it was like i don't want to go home because supposing that and all predestining a load of questions mm. as to what may be you happening. were anticipating you were waiting for these negative things to happen absolutely and how different is that now in terms it's much nicer because mm. i'm not anticipating mm the bad things and in fact I'm you know I looking don't... out for the good things yeah mm. and it's just really funny because all the time it's like I'm getting all these I'm sure they were always there mm. I just wasn't noticing Awareness. them and it was just really funny because this Sunday last Sunday it was really sunny and 
you know, my husband had some things to do with the front of the house, so I was sitting outside with him, and it's on the road. And the neighbour crossed, she said, I said, oh, um, oh, is, is, is the neighbour in? I said, I don't know, she because she's got my dog. And she took it for a long walk, mm. and it's now one well, back, so I can go and put the door. Anyway, so she basically ended up saying, oh, I've got no knock from the door from her. And again, that was something, it was interesting to see other, another person knocking on the door and not getting a response. Mm. I said, oh, maybe she's, she's oh, probably she's out. And then at some point she must have come out and said, oh, I was at the bottom of the garden. I've been there sunbathing with the dog and everything. Mm. And it's a long garden. And it was just, again, it was like, oh, you know, sometimes you've rung up on the door gates mm. and she hasn't answered. It's not because she's going, oh, God, I'm not answering gates. It's because, and it was a really you're, nice... You're more relaxed about your um, but it was, reactions but to... But it was also, it's almost like I'm noticing that the way she behaved towards me was the way she behaves to everybody. Yeah, and it rather than taking it personally. It wasn't that's a really particular. Yeah. And that was really, and it was almost like, now, I'm sure these have happened before, but it was, whereas before it would have been, oh, she's ignoring everyone yeah. whereas now I'm going oh that's how it is mm. and it mm. was really I don't know mm. I assume it's how I'm looking at the world is different almost definitely because I remember one of the um, phrases you used <laughs> sorry to have to <laughs> laugh at this one but um the mere fact that she's alive and breathing yes. <laughs> and and how differently you see her now yeah. she's just another neighbor yeah she's just another person that lives by you and that's brilliant you know, hypnotherapy is about opening up your mind to um, every opportunity and possibility. And do you think that seeped into other areas of your life or has it just been specifically to the one issue that you came for? No, I mean, I, I was aware before I came that the issue I was creating around the neighbour was probably a mask mm. or something that was covering. And it's almost like, I suppose on most people... When you've got underlying issues, you bury them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. once you've removed one of the stones that's burying it, you have to put mm -hmm. another stone on to keep mm -hmm. it down. So I was aware, but I wasn't quite sure what was going to come out. And that was interesting to me, is to realise that over the, the last three weeks, stuff has been coming out, sometimes very sad stuff, some, but very much me going, do you know what? There's a lot of stuff I need to resolve. Mm -hmm. And I'm... N and I think all the time I've been going, do you know what? Leave that be because it's too painful. Yeah. Or leave that be. That, that's done with. Oh, yeah. oh, look how much better you were. So that's done with. And actually, I did realise very, very clearly that there's times when I have had some counselling. And I clearly have not. It's... Is this a different resolution to counselling? Yeah. How is this different from counselling? Because I think that's a yeah. really important question. A lot of people come to me and they say, I've had counselling, I've done this. And I, what's different? What's, and it must be in terms of outcome, because that's mm. how we know we've had success with mm. something, is, is the outcome, yeah? What's different about this approach to, than, than to counselling? Well, I think counselling... In terms of your outcomes. Well, I yeah. think the outcome, to me, the biggest difference is that there is a tangible result that occurs relatively quickly, shall mm. I say. Mm -hmm. So you get that tangible result. But also I think you are much... The difference, I think, with counselling is that I think counselling takes you to a scary place, mm -hmm. but you are told that you've got to do the resolution, mm -hmm. whereas hypnotherapy helps you to do your resolution at the time you know i know it's me it's not you're not doing anything that i don't want to do myself absolutely but the big thing is that i think um okay i'm a nurse so i deal with allopathic medicine the whole time i know that the that if somebody's got a broken leg you can do all sorts of things and you can say rest, do all of these things. Their body will heal eventually. But mm. the allopathic medicine enables it to happen a lot quicker mm. and to have a better result. Does that make sense? Yeah. That, that's what I'm trying to yeah. say. So yeah. I feel that hypnotherapy is like, is that part which says, right, fine, well, we could, leave, you know, we could do this, we could do that, we could say, but why don't you take some painkillers? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? We're going to put this, we're going to align your leg, then we're going to give you some physio, we're going to do all these things. Mm -hmm. We're going to get you back to where you should be a lot quicker mm -hmm. than just allowing 
then saying, well, come on, you can do it yourself, you mm. can get those painkillers from your brain and what mm. have you. And I just feel that it's that's overwhelming. Mm. Whereas, and I think that's why counselling can be overwhelming. And you yeah. just got, I've done enough. I've done. Yeah. That's it. Good. Yeah. That's that's a way to bed. Yeah. Whereas I think hypnotherapy enables you to realise. It's gentler, but I think More it's yeah. And yeah. I just feel that it just says to you, do you know what? Um, I think it gives you the confidence to go Brilliant. on to the next. Say, look, I have yeah. got so much. I need to clear this, yeah. and I know I can clear it. Was counselling. I don't know. I just had this horrible feeling with counselling. I was still going to be in it in mm. years to come. Mm. I think many people feel the same. To be and fair, and it's um, and I just felt I, I was going to be entering that American world. Shall I say <laughs> that? You know, oh well, yeah. I've been seeing my psychiatrist my, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. The, for the last ten years. <laughs> it becomes coffee table talk, doesn't it? And I'm just, <laughs> and I thought I haven't. I really cannot be doing that. And no. as well, I didn't want to be navel gazing for that long. No. What about me? What about me? Let's talk yeah, about me. Yeah. Whereas. Yes, it's important. I realise it's important to sort things out and to get things organised. But I don't want to sit there navel gazing for the next five years. No, no. I've, I, I just feel that's a. You, you wanted to see um, direct results that yeah. it gives you the encouragement and the empowerment to want to go further because you can see how quickly you can have that shift. And as well... To where if, you wanted to be. And also as well, I'm aware that, yes, I can say, look, this is where I am. I need to have some help because I can't be left flailing here yeah. for the next six months. Yeah. Because, you know, when people, when that happens, when you've opened the box and you've taken away the stones, mm. it's really raw. Mm. And you can't live for six months like that. You just no. stick the stones back on. Absolutely. Because you have to. Yeah. Because uh, you've got to do your everyday living. Yeah. And you can't, really you, and, you, and you can't be going to work saying, right, I'm going to take, I'm going to take my, my pain mm. out on everybody at mm. work. You can't do that, and so that's why I think counselling itself fails. Mm. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it just fails because what it asks you to do is not something that we can do. Yeah, yeah, it, it, and it, I, and alongside your living every day. And I think that hypnotherapy, what it does, is it enables you to, as you say do the same things but you've got well fine I can, I can actually I can cope I can yeah. do this and yeah. that's what I think is mm. to me that's the biggest difference yeah. if that makes how's sense how's it impacted do you think um, other people have benefited from your shifts I know my husband says you seem a lot happier mm -hmm. and he's recognised that I am you know as I say and he hasn't said anything about the weekend but when I was like oh yeah da, da, and he was like you, in a way, I could wait. He was almost waiting for me to go. Oh, but, but yeah, but it didn't happen. Yeah, brilliant. And it was really funny because he overslept on the Sunday morning and things like that. And he's been much more. Oh, um, I think he expected to have a much more restless time or for things. Yeah, to be he, he was going to suffer more while you were going through your journey. He felt that he was going to have a Absolutely. quite a, um, a tumultuous journey as well. The one, the other last question I'm going to ask you is, as a result of all of this work that you've done, the shifts mm. that you've experienced, what has that empowered you to do? What's your next step, Gailies? I don't know. My next step is to actually deal with the real, the foundations of a lot mm. of this chaos. How are you going to do that? Um, well, I'm going to do it by... Um, coming to see you and doing a little bit more work there absolutely That's you're going to do thing. the bu program aren't you and because i'm very aware that over the last week or so i've been remembering and actually allowing yourself to remember but also because you felt strong enough to do so but tangibly feeling yeah. and this is the this is the thing is that tangibly feeling um, a lot of the pain and a lot of the the chaos, which mm. I have looked at in the past, but I've quite happily put the box back. Mm. You know, mm. Had a look there, and, that's, mm. and I just think, and I'm very aware that as the uh, as the as the leaves of the onion start being peeled back, yeah. or the stones being removed, or whatever yeah. analogy, I'm going to find more chaos. 
but you're looking at it like it's a task now rather mm. than I'm going to live this mm. you're looking at it more like so I've got some tasks that I need to mm. um, complete before I get to this stable place of where I want to be mm. I can see that stable place and I'm also aware that there are these four five or six stones that need to be removed before I get there because I can see I do like your positive thing I think it's a few more than five or six <laughs> No, I know well, I... you're going to be surprised because look how far you've come in just three weeks. Oh, I know. But Could I'm... you have imagined? Remember no, when you came I here? I really, really couldn't imagine feeling like I do now, Absolutely. which is brilliant. But I'm also... So you look at, always look at the evidence of where you've come from to know where you're going. It's not the fact... It's, it's, not, it's not... I don't know. I'm just very... I'm aware that, um, like everybody, as you take off one, you're going, oh, I didn't realise there was that. I was like, but I know there's lots of stuff going on. Yeah. And I just... But look how quickly it's coming to the fore. Look at some of the things that you realised even today. That was a massive shift. Mm -hmm. We don't need to speak about it, but what I'm saying is, is those things are coming up really, really quickly mm -hmm. because you've allowed yourself, you've given your pers yourself permission to connect with them, observe them, deal with them, and put them away. Mm -hmm. uh, rather than... I'm going to have to immerse myself in all of this. It's going to be so difficult. I'm not, I can't see a way out and I'm just going to lose sight of why I even came here because yeah. I'm going to be so immersed in the sadness. But that actually you're almost like an observer and you're looking at those things mm. and dealing with them as tasks rather than it being you. They're not defining you. They're things that you just need to get through to get to where you need to be. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, and That's as a I good say, place to be. It, it is, it is, oh, it is. Um, oh. And as I say, to me, what was, um, as I say, some of the bits of counselling I've had, I've had quite a quite se selections of it. Mm -hmm. And what kind of counselling have you had, just for people to know if oh. they've had something like this before, what they could be helped with in this scenario? If they've tried things before, what kind of things have you tried that? You well, I mean, what I've um, I have had a bit of CBT. Yeah. And I, it's like everything. I think it's about finding the right person to mm -hmm. do it with. Thank you. I've had CBT, and. I had a little bit of it with somebody and it was absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the rest of the programme with her. And I went to see somebody else. I thought, do you know what? There truly is no business. Mm. I, I, there's no point coming here. I'm really not mm. connecting. There's nothing going on. Um, and I've also had just straightforward um, counselling of what, where are you now? Let's get you out of this pain situation. Mm. And... That was good, but to me it was I, it, it was great, and I and I got from being very 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 upset to being. Do you know what? Yeah, okay, fine, I can go ahead mm. with this. But even at the time, I myself was aware that I had literally papered over the crack or yeah. sorted it or just and, and I had you totally. Um, Sub submitted to the to, to the experience Do oh you... absolutely not mm, yeah you, there's a little part of you that goes well, I'm not going in that deep well you know, I, the yeah. thing was that I didn't I, I felt there wasn't the time mm. and I mean we've talked about and we know why there wasn't the time mm. basically you, mm. know, you, you can't mm. have a young family and mm. be oh I've got to deal with all of this you've got to get on with certain mm. things and I couldn't go there and I didn't want to deal with it. And I did things to deal with it in different ways. Mm. But I think to me the basic problem with counselling is that I just felt it was great, but it, six sessions is what you get, or mm. 12 sessions. Mm. But even with 12 sessions, it was like, well, I've only just started scraping back. Right, and that's 12 sessions in there. Here we are three sessions later, mm. and you've achieved so much already. Mm. I mean, I wish I'd have taken a photograph of you <laughs> when you first came. Seriously, that is because how light and young and free you look right now is... is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> So we're going to wrap this up. Okay. And uh, thank you so much for sharing your, you know, genuine experiences for people that, you know, like you, j just want to get to that point and don't want to have to do years and years of going, raking over the same issues and having the same experiences and not and, and, and it just not making a difference. Yeah. So um, it, it's I'm really, really grateful to you for inspiring others to be able to mm -hmm. take that leap and know that they really can make drastic and it's not just even it's shifts it's real shifts yeah i think i think that's the key yeah. point to me and it was really it was okay i'm going to share something really silly so this this to me was a fundamental shift okay okay um 
my husband was taking off his shoes in we've got a little sort of utility space where the back door is okay so I came through and I tripped over his feet and his shoes because I had my sunglasses on because I'd just come in from the car and prior a, a, pro, a response would have been well didn't you see me sort of thing yeah, like no yes. it's just oh what, what are you doing there Whereas straight away, bang, without a second thought, I was like, oh, sorry, I, I, you know, I've side tripped over. I've still got my sunglasses on. Mm. And he was like, it's okay, uh, I have my feet in the way. And it was really funny because we started playing these sort of like, no, it's my fault, it's my yeah, fault. Lovely. And it, it was, and it was, and I know that sounds such a silly obscurity, but to me, it was incredibly profound that my first thought was, oh, sorry, yeah. I have my sunglasses on. Yeah. And I didn't, and it wasn't, a blame. That, it wasn't a blame. It was an it accountability. And it wasn't also about let's make an issue yeah. of what was. And I was almost like, "Are you okay?" Mm. And and he was, I think, so shocked because <laughs> he's been used to this sort of quite aggressive mm. stance mm. of let's fight, fight, fight mm. all the way, and finding battles to fight. Mm. And I just thought, wow, that's a really. I noticed that was an amazing, profound. Mm where it's just, it's nothing. Let's just, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. And are you okay? Yeah. Whereas, and again... But that's when you start taking accountability for, for your actions mm. and it's not about um, deflecting everything yeah. to other people. So that, because you don't move on when you deflect and you're not taking accountability. So mm. this is you stepping up to you. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and to yeah. me, it was utterly stunning. Mm. And I know that's going to sound really, 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 no, really we small don't, we and silly. No. no, but anybody watching this will be going like, what? But, do, but we, do we know that? No, I'm just saying, if people are, but I'm just saying it was a very <laughs> profound moment. For you? Yes. And that's the most important thing. It's, you know, it's it's the personal shifts that you notice that allow you to go mm. forward and build on those successes. If you don't see that, then that, it doesn't inspire you to go further. So absolutely. it's really good that you've seen that. Thank you so much, ladies. Yeah. That was absolutely perfect. Oh, I just got my head in the picture there. And, and that's it for this session. Thank you.